Hello everyone, welcome to another Fan Build Friday that I posted on a Saturday. I got a little behind because of the holidays, which I hope everybody had a great one. Alright, so as you guessed, I'm building at the Mechanist Lair. This is going to be the Minutemen Secret Headquarters. Think of it kind of like the railroad, you know, it's the same kind of idea. I know the castle is the official Minutemen base in the game, but I don't like the idea that the Brotherhood of Steel is right next door, in the air. They have the high ground if they ever wanted to attack. I just, you know, I just don't like the setup. So this build is going to be the Minutemen's main base. This is where they're going to craft and store all of their weapons, armor, build robots to fight for them. It's going to be a very military style build with barracks, on-site medics, and maybe even a training area. It's going to be really cool and different from my past couple of videos which have been more residential type stuff. I've had several people ask me to build something like a military base or pertaining to the Minutemen, but this idea is closest to the suggestion from I'm your neighbor, creepy, which was, by the way, you should use the industrial pieces from Snap and Build in the Mechanist Layer. It matches the factory vibe. Which it totally does, and that's a great idea. I am going to build a small conveyor belt, but as I mentioned, this is going to be more of a military style base build kind of thing. So let's get started. Just like my other videos, I've already done a test run with this build and left some pieces around so I know exactly where to place everything. If I didn't do that, there would be like 10 minutes added to the video of just me inching stuff around. So I am using the industrial pieces from the Snap and Build mod, and for those of you who are building without mods, the vault pieces would be a good substitute. Alright, this part is where I show you guys how I fit these rooms so close to the walls and corners. Workshop Rearranged mod is definitely helping me with snapping these pieces together, but you see these two in the back won't snap in. I think it's because there's some debris on the ground that I can't scrap, but regardless, all you have to do is use the pillar and select all feature. So all I'm doing is pulling the structure back a little bit and then seeing if the pieces will snap in. And they still won't, so now I'm going to go back to the pillar, except this time raise the structure up a little bit to see if it was too close to the ground. And see that piece works but this one in the corner doesn't. It's just trial and error, so I'm just going to keep moving this out until the corner snaps in, and when it does, I'm going to use the pillar to put the room's stubborn ass back where I wanted it. Alright, it looks good. It does, but I don't like how the inside walls are not consistent. One is completely clipping into the cement wall, and the other one is not clipping at all. So I'm just going to inch it over a little bit more and see if I can get the cement columns inside to clip through. And they are. Okay, looks good. I left that part in just to show you guys the method I use with almost all the rooms that I built in here. Alright, so this mod gives you these walkways that match the ones that are already here perfectly. I scrapped the walkway that was along this wall and then placed down this piece. The ones that light up green are the ones that I placed down. The ones that are yellow were already here and you can only scrap. So I have a confession. In this build, I actually break one of my rules several times. I use Place Anywhere mod on these bridges without confirming that I can place them without it. You see, these bridges won't snap to the ones that are already here, and when they snap together, most of the time they're in the red and I can't place them. So I use Place Anywhere to help me out. Now I'm sure that you can use the pillar for this, but lining them up perfectly would take forever, and I didn't have that kind of time. So I just used the mod, that's what it's here for, so I figured I would just embrace it for this build and see what all I could do. Now there's already a ramp right here, but I scrapped it and placed this down in order to fit my room in that corner. And it looks great. They all go together perfectly, and these bridges are pretty cool. You can snap basically anything to them. I'm going to try to snap a capsule right here, which I did right before I started recording, but I guess it wanted to show off for the camera and not work for me, so I'm just going to cut that out. There it is. Looking great. I really do enjoy the way this whole build came out, and I hope you guys do too. The whole idea with this was to make it look like you couldn't tell what I built and what was already there. I mean, obviously you'll know, but I wanted it to look like everything truly could have been here. And I think this is why I've been putting off building here at the Mechanist Layer for so long. We didn't really have a lot of options as far as building. 
A scrappy looking settlement here was probably the most obvious because of the structures we had. You know, wood, metal, barn, warehouse, all of those are very scrappy looking. And I guess if you wanted to make it look more put together, you could use the concrete walls, but I didn't really like the way they looked throughout the whole settlement. And then we got vault pieces, and those fit in much better, but finally, Snap and Build gave us these industrial pieces that work perfectly. I just didn't want to be another person who built a scrappy looking mechanist layer. I've seen so many of those, and most of them look awesome, they do. I just built a lot of scrappy stuff lately, and wanted to do this one a little bit different. Alright, so if we go to the miscellaneous industrial tab, we can get out these supports to make the bridge I added not look like it's hovering. They usually snap to the bridges, but this one is too close to the room that I built. So I have to use the Place Anywhere mod, or use the pillar, either one works, to get this in there. So I'm just going to finish this up and then add in some rooms. Okay, so I used concrete walls for this room because I didn't want to scrap the ramp behind it. Now, I didn't like how the wall stuck out over the top of the room, so I just added in some concrete roofs and posts from the warehouse tab, and it kind of completes this whole room and gives it its own kind of look. Oh, if you were wondering how these industrial pieces were snapping together even though there's a cement column in the middle, I think Workshop Rearranged helped out a lot. And I've noticed that pieces from Snap and Build mod are a little bit more forgiving as well. So I think that combination helped out. But yeah, I'm just going to put the scaffolding frame here and then build two more rooms. There isn't a lot for me to explain here, so yeah, I'm just going to let it play through. Oh yeah, right here, look how the room is a little bit lower into the ground than the others. You can tell by the yellow border at the bottom. I did that so the workbench looked a little more natural inside. Originally it looked sunk in and you could tell that it was clipping through, so that helped out a lot. Now I'm adding in a platform on top to take away from the room being lower than the others. Alright, on to the good stuff. I'm putting an elevator beside the room to the right of the one with the platform that I just built. The wood piece was there to help me put the elevator in that corner. I left it there to save time, but originally I had to move it around a good bit just to get the elevator to snap where I wanted it. So I'm going to be building various sections on each level of the elevator. The first part you're going to see me use railings from the metal tab that I got from Workshop Rearranged. I love the way this section comes out and how it's kind of tucked away. I do come back and add stuff to it later to make it look so much cooler. Okay, so level 3. I'm going to snap a boxcar to the elevator here and then add in some metal floor sheets that are also from the Workshop Rearranged mod. There really isn't a lot for me to explain in most of the videos, so I'm just going to shut up and let you guys watch whenever I can.
Okay, love it, let's keep going. Now I'm gonna add in the part of level two that makes it look awesome. So first I'm gonna place down some posts to give the boxcar support, and then I'm gonna add in a fence that I get from Workshop Rearranged, of course. Now I'm gonna use the chain link fence in the Place Anywhere mod, but without mods you could use the wire fence in the pillar to help place it. But it'll just be much more tedious because when you use the pillar, you have to hold the select button, which is A on the Xbox, and that selects all, meaning everything that you've placed down nearby. So you have to take the pillar somewhere else that you haven't placed down anything too close to it and then get out the fence and try to place it here. All that, which is why I'm simply using place anywhere. But I love the fence here. It closes off this level, makes it look like a tucked away room, and it really fits in with the vibe of the place. I don't know what I'm gonna put here, but it gives me a lot of options. Alright, just going to put in another post right here to make this look supported. Uh, I am going to get rid of that generator that's beside the elevator, just so you know. I'm not going to leave it sitting there. But now we're building the fourth floor. I wanted this to have at least two conveyor belts, but it was becoming a bit of a nightmare, so I built it with just one. It still comes out pretty cool. I really like the idea of the Minutemen manufacturing their own materials and having all these conveyor belts close to the ceiling. It just seems, it kind of makes the place come to life. These floors were giving me trouble because of the box car below, so I just skipped through some of it. You saw that it worked, it just took some finagling. So look how this is set up. I have a container that I'm going to fill with materials, and then this vacuum piece that is going to pull all the materials out of the container, and then send it through to the builder that I'm about to place. This was my first time really trying to build with conveyor belts. There's definitely a learning curve there, especially if you have no idea how this stuff works. But I have already ran a conveyor belt to the other side of the room, now I'm just trying to match it up. And that part was easy, just connect various belts together along the ceiling, no matter what you do it's going to look good. Here I'm going to use the builder that produces ammunition, and then connect an elevator that will send it up to my conveyor belts, and then finish up the top floor. Okay, so now we're going all the way across the room. I've already placed down these bridges right here, the same way I did earlier in the video. And this spot, it takes a while to place down the floors, so I just cut that out to save time. You really don't need to see me do that. I just wanted to show you where the conveyor belt is going. There aren't a lot of pieces to choose from, so I just connected a few with some ramps to make it over, and then I'm gonna end it with a conveyor storage. This stores all of the pieces that are produced from the builder on the other side. It's pretty cool, you know? I wish I could do more with these in this build, but for now this will work. Oh, notice how I used the wood floors here and on the other side? I did that to make it look like this is something that they added in and wasn't already here. I think little stuff like that really helps out when you're building. But anyway, we're going to add in some posts and then move on to the next section. Okay, so this part is pretty simple. I'm just going to snap in some industrial pieces and then build a room on top of it. So I'll let that play out for a second and I'll be right back.
Alright, so I'm just gonna slow it down and show you this part because it's definitely my favorite section, but it took a while to build and I figured it'd be easier to just talk about it after I built it. Basically, I just built another room on top of these industrial pieces. All I did was line up a concrete floor with the ceiling piece below and then snapped everything to it. It's set up just like the second level of the elevator that I showed you earlier, only here I've added in a ceiling part. And it's pretty simple really. I just snapped the concrete walls to the floors that I'm using as ceilings, and I just snapped the floors to the top of the posts. So basically everything just snapped together. So yeah, I just snapped these walls on top of each other, added in a light, which is powered by a generator and a pylon that I have hidden behind this wall, and the whole purpose of this was to give off some really cool lighting and have that whole layer kind of feel. Like right here, it just looks so eerie and I just I love the way this whole thing came out. And I can't wait to decorate this whole part, it's going to look really cool. But that's it for me guys, I really hope you like this build so far. I'm going to try to get it completely decorated and ready for next week. I wanted to post the mod video on Monday, but I'm probably going to have to push it out a couple of days. I'm just a little bit behind, but... Let me know what you think in the comments. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and take care.